Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. This week I'm going to follow up on the topic we talked about last week. Last week we talked about tool palettes and putting our blocks on our tool palettes and today I'm going to take it one step further and we're going to talk about hatch patterns. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and do a control 3 to go get my tool palette. To me that's the fastest way to go get it unless you happen to already have it on your screen somewhere. And here you'll see the tree that we put on last week and you'll see the, the, the car that we put on. Today though we're going to talk about hatch patterns because to me hatch patterns are just so powerful on the tool palette. So here I have a variety of different hatch patterns and just to kind of show you what I'm talking about is just simply a matter of selecting the hatch pattern and dragging and dropping it anywhere you want it to go. I'm just going to kind of add lib in here. I probably wouldn't color my parking spaces colors, but I might, who knows. I'm going to go ahead and grab this particular hatch pattern. These are just solid fills and drag and drop. It's just that simple. The key though is of course you have to get those hatch patterns that you use all the time onto your palette, right? I'm going to go back over to my little my little lin my little lin tab and if you take a look on the screen you'll see I have a hatch pattern down here. This is the honey hatch pattern and this represents a shrub, a plant shrub. And I'm going to go ahead and select that so it's highlighted and then using the right mouse button I'm going to do a simple little drag and drop and just simply drop it onto the palette. It only takes a second and you'll see as I do a right click I can go to properties you take a look at that and you'll see quite a bit of information on here and I have the power to modify any of that information. So first off, I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it a shrub because I like that. If you want to, you can provide a little tool tip up there as well if you prefer. And you'll see on here it's the honey pattern. It knows the angle. It knows the scale factor. Auxiliary scale factor, I talked to you about this last week. It's the same with blocks. You have the ability to attach the dim scale or the plot scale factor as the scale factor for this particular hatch pattern. It's kind of cool. All types of information on here. And of course, the layer was saved with it as well. So I love that. I'm going to go ahead and hit an OK. You'll see when I do that now, this is called a shrub, and I can go ahead and take that and drag and drop it, and drop it anywhere else on my screen, and you will see, taking a look at that, same, same scale factor, same rotation angle, same layer, and it was super simple for me to get that onto my tool palette. So that's my tip this week. Please promise me you're going to set up those tool palettes, customize the heck out of them, and you're going to be way more productive every single day that you work. Take care.